Welcome to Softcore History. Softcore history, and guess the fuck what? What? Well, first off, I'm sorry we're late. Uh, that is all Dan's fault. It is my fault. It's my least favorite yeah. text. Dan um, really selfishly traveled to Nashville and yep. Knoxville this For weekend. For work. Yeah. You just did it to rub it in my face when you saw us lose, didn't you? I was rooting for you guys. I know you were. Thank you. <laughs> I was we pulling for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, but, well, you were pulling against Hypel. Yes. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take it. When don't we? Really? Sports. It's our yeah. default. Yeah. We're a little late because Dan uh, was on a leisure trip. Work trip. Uh, I mean, sure, <laughs> Didn't you, know, really you were getting sleep paid at for all. it. Uh, uh, we actually flew in this morning, uh, afternoon, got here at noon, immediately did another show. I've done two shows since. And you're this doing two more. This is now my third show of the day. Um, so, yeah. Fourth we're going to roll day. into a fourth after this. And I'm going to uh, be just top, top of my game. Yeah, and honestly, he's been putting on a fifth show with all his whining. <sighs> it's kind of true. Yeah. I I mean, it's I did, all performance, yes. I did say before the open that, hey, you don't have to apologize for being tired, but what I meant was, why are you such a bitch? Yeah. Maybe you guys should figure out how to work the cameras mm, and no. the audio equipment. I'm uh, uh, look, I'm on I'm talent. I'm I'm talent. I'm here to just be talent. Right. The only reason I'm on the show though is cuz I can operate everything. Yeah. Actually, you know what's funny? Uh so I moved into my new house this weekend. Not great either. What? I'm like okay. No, you're good at it. You're I'm very okay. good. All right. Yeah. yeah. Good Dan's very good. He's he's not gassing himself up. I will. Dan, uh, I listen to other podcasts. Dan, our audio quality is great. I know. I actually, when I did Pages podcast, uh, I sent them the raw files from my side, and they're like, "Holy shit, this is clean." Were you? Nobody here? sounds like this. Yeah. No, stop sending out your talent, bitch. I'm well, staying with us. Throw the show. Yeah, he was on the podcast to just. I don't care. Like, hey, we're. <laughs> By the way, software history, software history, software history. Yeah. I'm. I'm we're planning like, well, on me nice. actually making like a once a month appearance on our podcast. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. So we might start doing like a, a dated mailbag, which yep. is ironic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The same, the Patreon. This is live, bro. used to do stuff with her that people No, no. I actually, I, the first time I was on her podcast, we admitted that we dated. So. Yeah. Yeah. People probably fast. Oh, it's no. It's, it's no. no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, by the way, if you want to help us grow this podcast, like and subscribe, uh, leave a review on Apple, uh, leave a five star on Spotify. And uh, subscribe to our Patreon. Got a great Patreon episode. Patreon.com slash softcore history. Yep, yep, yep. Extra episode every week. $5 gives you, you know, depending on the month, four to five episodes. Um, yeah. And I actually am going to start adding some written content to it soon. This summer has been a fucking nightmare for me in terms of, like, moving and baby, blah, blah, blah. But we uh, are ready to go. I have a clean fall. Fall is clean. Summer is, was garbage. This is, one of, this is one of the least enjoyable summers of my life. The Braves are about to win, like on a hundred win pace, Don't and care. I'm just like dog. Yeah, fuck baseball's this dumb. <sighs> no, college football's dumb. But I'm not. But it's what? Felt, it's felt like you know we've lived on Venus yeah. for the last oh my god seven months. Five me, oh, the weather, yeah, fuck that. We had the first nice day in yeah. what feels like fucking years. Yeah, it's. I got up. It was sixty degrees. Took a nice day. Put on a long sleeve. They they've been blending together. And uh, it does that here in the summer. It's like one long slog through like May, June, July, right, August. Right, right. So right. we're gonna get some better weather. We're gonna be in better moods. You're gonna get better content, both on the Patreon and the free episode. So you know. Yep. But I am gonna start doing written content as well on there now that I have actual free time. And I really just want to say real quick, um, we don't ask you to help us grow the podcast for selfish reasons. We unselfishly only want to work ten hours a week. Yeah, and so it'd just be funny the whole time. We yes. don't want to like do hard things. I don't we want just, a day job. Yeah, we just want to do this all day. We would make three episodes a week if if this and made enough money for us to just live off of. We would give you way more content. And, yeah, and, and uh, if we would if this was our full time job. And also, I want to say uh, there's only like three months left to get in that Christmas raffle. Yeah, <laughs> you know about the Patreon Christmas raffle. The very undisclosed, vague Christmas raffle. Well, no, we said what it was. Again, yeah, half our earnings. Half our Patreon For money. the month? For the month of December. Okay. We draw a name. They get half our earnings for that month. So the longer you sign up for Patreon, the more raffle tickets you get. We can see how many months you've been signed up. Yep. 
Yeah. So, you know, and every, the more people you get is, in, the bigger the pot. Yeah, every month is a ticket. So if you've been subscribed in the beginning, you have like seven or eight tickets. Mm-hmm. And if you've subscribed right now, you have like three tickets. Hey, exactly. you can sign up for 60 avatars to be on our Patreon for a month. Yeah, what I want. would do is uh, take out a bunch of new checking accounts. <laughs> right. Um, and put uh, $100 into each of those. And yeah, then, you know how the NBA used to take advantage of, like, the urban community where they had you sign up for a credit card and they would give you a jersey so you could get into, like, crippling debt? Oh, that's oh. actually recent. Remember, that's a we recent one, yeah. about that. I was like, this is the most predatory thing I think thing we were watching seen. that together, yeah. and it was like, oh, you can upgrade, like, no, transfer it was, your— no, It was you know jersey it was? transfer. It was jersey insurance. Yep. Yeah, if the, oh, if you the player— you get back your jersey if a player gets traded. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. <laughs> that's you don't even get a jersey, <laughs> just insurance that you may get a new jersey. Unbelievable. When so, you hear about that, you're like, no one falls for that. It's like, clearly someone has someone if they're making has. a fucking campaign someone around has. it. Yeah. So we're not going to do that to you. You're just going to get an extra episode every week and uh, also potentially win half our earnings in December. Yep. Merry Christmas. When we need it the most. Yep. yep. <laughs> Robin season. <laughs> that is. It's but, where my truck always gets broken into. <laughs> right. You know what season it is now? It is spooky season. Motherfucking spooky season. Halloween Horror Nights. You heard the theme music already. You already know, probably. You already know. It, look, because I don't give a fuck if it's September 27th when we're recording this. It's probably going out tonight. It's going out tonight. Yeah. So September 27th. We're giving it's you spooky season. a week early. Yeah, and they deserve it because you know what season it is right now in Costco? Christmas. <laughs> right, it's yeah. full on Christmas. It was 100 degrees. I was there last weekend. All Christmas shit. I was like, how is it 100? And I'm seeing Santa. Well, you live in Texas. Fair. That's fucking how. Now, is Santa killing us in an arena? <laughs> like, God, I can't even remember how to pronounce his name. The African dictator? Yes. Um, one can only hope, Dan. One can oh, only yeah. Hope. Everyone was dressed like Santa when they were mowing him down. Yeah. In like a weird dystopian. It was a Christmas surprise. It was a genocide it, of Santa's. It, it but, was, I mean, Santa's killing you. It was a genocide of nerds. Say, the yeah, nerds it, it got killed nerd by genocide. Santa's, yeah. Yeah. That's a free episode, too. Go ahead and check that out. We have a whole catalog, too, and of just, like, 109 episodes of free content that is just, you know, it's evergreen. You yeah. can listen to it, it whenever you evergreen. want. There might be some topical jokes inside of it, but it's evergreen. Yeah. Anyway, though, we're not here to fucking gas ourselves up anymore. No, we are. We're not here to blow ourselves. We're here to talk about spooky season. Well, I can't reach. I was pounding Oktoberfest last night trying to decide what I was going to write about, and I was like, you know what? They're selling Oktoberfest, so I'm done waiting. Let's get spooky. Let's do it early. It doesn't need to be October. Can you do your ghoul voice the entire time? What was my ghoul voice again? <gasps> spooky ghosts and goblins. I can't That's do good. you being spooky. Yeah, but no. like, was it? Oh, it was like, the Salem witch trials are, of course, the most famous. Was that it? That's Fine. it. Yeah. yeah. It was I think I did it. it. I'll have to like listen to it because I don't remember off the top of my head. Like, I have to it listen. It makes me sad. I mean, you can know. just kind of go with a new voice, too. Yeah. That was fine. Spooky. Was that it? There's a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was yeah, so almost like a less, dog. Less, like it's like a it was a little, Scooby-Doo. It was a little less uh, guttural and down mm-hmm. here and more up here. You were about Ooh. five minutes deep and you were just like, my voice is gone now. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. do it very well. That happens a lot. Like with the uh, Cockney hooker as well. Really great. <laughs> Helen. What Whales the, oil. Like that. Right. But that's like a weird like catch-22 where I do that voice best if I just like sit in my car and scream for five minutes get raspy yeah yeah, yeah. you then, might but, as well eat glass yeah pretty much but then i can only do it for like an hour and that's all i got but anyway we're doing spooky topics mm. and I we thought, got some light in the back too yeah uh what do we kind of there's one purple light there's purple and there's a blue light that's is that spooky so well, there are colors. Okay. They're the podcast colors. Yeah, that's not really spooky. That's just I was blocking you. It's my also backpack. set. You know, the yeah. way I shot it, it's a little darker. It's okay. the mise en place, okay. right. right? Sure. Yeah. Is that what you film nerds? We're say? in an abandoned church. We are in an abandoned church. Uh, a fucking Pentecostal one, I believe. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's the spookiest place you can yeah. be in a Pentecostal church. The only way it could be spookier is if it was flooded from a mine town, <laughs> like if we were underwater in it. All right. Fine. Next episode, they'll be orange. Okay. Yeah, is that that's what you what want? Is, well, it's not my episode, so who cares? It's but literally I think your because episode. of the way it lines up. I do get two spooky episodes, which I'm excited about. Yeah, uh, that's probably for the best too. Shit, I gotta punt. I gotta punt my uh, the one that Dan made me write that I didn't need to write to like next month now. Yeah, it's <laughs> spooky. It's not spooky at all, no. and I feel like this spooky's my wheelhouse, so I can well, finally Patreon's get back in my not bag. Spooky. Uh, Patreon's gonna be spooky this week. Okay, it's Sweet. it's gonna be gross. Well, you did. You accidentally did a spooky one the other day. 
Uh, I've done the a couple weird sp- desert one or whatever. Was that oh what yeah, yeah. The this uh, all West run- Texas, West Texas. This all runs together for me. I don't remember what we do where. Like, cause <laughs> a, I'm getting, I get pretty drunk during these, and b, mm-hmm. there is no b. We're aware. We're aware you are drunk. Pretty, we know. Also, drunk. we've already discussed. We just it's like cramming for an exam where you remember everything for 48 hours, and, and then, then it's then fucking it's gone. gone. <laughs> it's gone. To it's the like, point where I have had people come up to me. I'd be like, dude, that shit from that one episode. And uh, especially if it's not my episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. am certainly not going to remember anything you're talking about. No, it's like, uh, jesters could fart. That's what I remember. It's like, I know they did other things, but I'm like, they could fart in tune? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Some. The good ones. The very good ones. Yeah. The ones that got land. So today, we're going to talk about some witch trials. A. Hell yeah. Or a witch trial, I should say. Now, the Salem witch trials are, of course... We've already covered. Yeah, we've covered them. You should go back and listen to an episode. And they're the most famous witch trials uh, of all time, basically. But did you know that Massachusetts is not the only place that a woman has tried to learn how to read? No way. Get out of here. Yeah, there have been witches in other places. Well... I think one of the funnier facts about the Salem witch trial is that we did it so much later than the rest of the world. No, it's not true. And this episode today will oh, really? be quite proof of that. Oh, I thought like... Uh, yeah, don't come here with your knowledge that you had beforehand. That's clearly not true. Well, I thought that the British like looked at us like, oh shit, you're doing witch trials right uh, now? They, they were at the end. Yeah. But they, there were witches executed in England in the early 18th century. Really? Okay. And the Salem witch trials were like 1692. Okay. So, damn. So there was overlap. I thought it was like, I thought it was like mud people executing witches. Like nope. the aristocracy right. wasn't. I think doing, we need to bring nope. them back. No, nope. the aristocracy little... was directly involved. They were Rob, judges and trials. Rob, we're getting a little too comfortable with witches nowadays. I agree. I'm Define a witch. Oh, yeah. I'm a Wiccan. I have crystals. If a woman, I'm not saying that you should light a woman on fire if she has over seven crystals in her house. It's a personality trait now. You go on right. a date with any girl in Austin right now, there's a good chance she's a Wiccan. I feel like they don't Self even know what Wiccan is. Described so. witch. I mean, we're supposed to have one on for the podcast. She is not Wiccan, but yes, we we're supposed to have Veronica on. She is our witch expert. Uh, she vanished like a witch does. Yeah. It's it, it's probably not the best time to know that I've read tons of witch shit. Well, we're going to tie her up and see if she floated. That's how you do it, according yeah. to that movie. And if she doesn't float, Monty Python. No, yeah. if she doesn't. Flo- yeah, if she doesn't float. She's not a witch. Yeah, but if she floats, you kill her. Yes, because the water is rejecting. Because because witches are made of wood. Uh, no. No. Well, it's light as a feather, stiff as a board. I forget what the logic is in that. <laughs> it's have, really great logic. But if she weighs the same as a duck, she is a witch. Right. Because a duck also floats. Yeah. Right. But like, she drowns, but she goes to heaven because she's not a witch. Right. 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 Win win for her. Yeah. Well, no, it's win lose. It's it's lose lose actually. Oh, <laughs> it's win win for the people doing it. <laughs> yeah, they get a show either way. Yeah, <laughs> it's a free show. Yeah, that's about it. We're gonna either drown or stone a woman today. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna get a killing either way. It's gonna make Austin a little bit more digestible. You want to make Austin weird? Start executing people by fire in the square. Let's do it. Witches were not typically burned. Uh, in the, I thought they were in Europe. Uh, not. Maybe in U- continental Europe? Yeah. Not in the, not no. in, in the Anglosphere. Common misconception, Jake. Oh. Coming here with all your wrong facts. N- uh, well, Joan of Arc was burned for being a witch. Do you remember? Do you know what she was convicted, what her actual convic- witch conviction was? I, I, I might be getting this wrong, but it's software history, so it's fine. Um, of all the things she actually got convicted of, she was burned. The witchy thing she was burned for was wearing men's clothing. Yeah, it's sus, sus right? Sus. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But when I talk about her... So the Salem witch trials are probably the most famous witch trials to us. Uh, in the UK, however, the most famous witch trials are probably the ones that happened in Lancashire or Lancashire uh, in 1612, involving the Pendle witches and the Samlesbury yes. Sam- witches. Yes, of course. Now, I was going to do both. However, uh, both of them are so dense in f- hilarious fact. That I could only do one. Now, I'll probably do another one for this second half of Spooky. I was going to say, is this a little bit of a teaser? Yeah. So Are we going to do a two-parter first time in history? Yeah, it's not a two-parter because they're. All, I mean, it's more of a, a witch of witch verse. It's a spiritual it's a, sequel. It's in the same verse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, we so, do a pretty good job of like leaving the audience wanting more, and when I mean more, like 
they want more jokes. They want more information. They always want more information because we never give enough. Of that. <laughs> we never give enough, and certainly not in a row. And they want like corrections, and we'll never give those. No, never give no, a correction. No, no, no. <laughs> this is soft core history. This is lazy. We did this to be lazy. I literally only use Wikipedia as a source this week. We're here to gab. Actually, there were not a lot of good sources on this besides Wikipedia. It's sometimes frustrating how that happens. You're like, well, I didn't want to do this, but... There's some things. Like, I didn't basically use Wikipedia at all for, like, uh, uh, the Dick Town. Uh, yeah. The yeah. Dick Town. Oh, no, you couldn't. There probably wasn't that much of an article. I also it. hate when, like, legitimate sources uh, contradict each other. I usually go with whatever sounds better. Yeah. Well, yeah. you have to. You, you, you got to make your own narrative. It's called intended And that's what English. historians have done through time, basically. Until very recently, and maybe even now, maybe even now, still probably. Uh, but anyway, definitely. Uh, in the UK, those are the most uh, famous witch trials. I went with the uh, Somlesbury witch trials to start because uh, I thought they were f- not funnier, but um, cooler. I was basically just going to start. W- Actually, I went with them because I was going to start with them and then go into the Pendle witches, but there was just so much on the first one that I was like, this is going to have to be another episode. So. In England, between the 15th and early 18th century, uh, 500-ish witches were executed, uh, but the Lancashire uh, witch trials are the most famous. Why? 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 Because someone decided to make content out of it. Love it. If you're doing a lot of burning. No burning. Oh, well. All hanging. Sorry. If you're having a bunch, like, Contenters content, creators create, right? Yeah. If you gotta the the iron's hot, make yeah. some con. The cha- I'm just like I just one of my favorite things I learn not every week but a lot of weeks uh, on this podcast is that the yeah the lust for content mm-hmm. is not a new thing. I no. know it's like shit don't change, blah blah blah. That's but that's like super blanket. That is one thing that I kind of assumed was a newer phenomenon, and it's just fucking not. Embrace the bit. What is it bit? a bit? <laughs> Actually, well, we'll get into that. It could be a bit, but I it mean, could also... <laughs> everything is content, right? I, like, record everything. Write everything down. As someone that's done improv, um, I feel like most witch trials are just people yes-anding themselves into conclusions. <laughs> It's like, yes, and she did this, and she, yes, yeah, she is a the witch. Prosecutor, and the prosecutor mm-hmm. is like, and did she ever make love to a dog? And then the, the teenage girl, it's usually what it is, it's like, yes, I actually did see her have sex with right, the dog. It's, mm-hmm. it's yes, and Andy. Like, hmm. And uh, let us uh, consult the Bible. <laughs> Who makes love to animals? Satan <laughs> makes love to animals. Yes. We like slop. Always have. Sludge, baby. Yep. Feed me that slime. Dirty, Pigs. shitty content. I think actually in history, maybe only nine people have ever read the Iliad. Dude, I've never read the Iliad. That's what I'm saying. Nine people. I don't even know what the Iliad is. It's the... Welcome it's, to softcore history. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. It's, <laughs> it's before the Odyssey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, that's, the, it, it's not even the Odyssey's prequel. It's the just, Odyssey is a sequel. Did you know that? Why does this surprise you? It doesn't. It, it doesn't. I don't want to read. The most fucked up thing that ever happened on this show, as far as you guys not knowing something, was neither of you knew what Fort Sumter was. I still remember not knowing that. Yeah. Yeah. We do know there's a gift shop, though. Like, you guys, I for the longest time, I was like, so, like, because people bitch, one of the main things people bitch about is that education on the Civil War in particular is shitty. And I'm like, it can't be that bad. Like, I remember this, and I remember this, and I remember this. And then you guys were like, I don't know what Fort Sumter is. And I was like, I oh, my God. I grew up in Pennsylvania. All we knew was Gettysburg, my guy. That's, I guess, fair. Uh, yeah, I grew Not up in really. Florida. We didn't learn anything. <laughs> That's also fair. <laughs> yeah. That's my past. Yeah. What's yours? Oh, Pennsylvania. Phil. Yeah, I do yeah. remember, I, I think I might have told this on this podcast before, but going to uh, Fort Mifflin outside of Philadelphia, because we used to drink there. Uh, planes would fly over. It's right by the airport. Yeah. And we were getting really fucked up, and there was a reenactment going, <laughs> and we thought they were ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that from that episode, actually. Yeah. I remember that story. That's it's still amazing. very, I like. Were you, like, high? 
high drunk and we freaked the fuck out. Yeah, because if I was high that actually, and in high school or whatever, that would legitimately, I would be like, I'm in the past. I'm in the past. I'm in the past. It's dark <sighs> out. Like, there's cannons going off, people hollering and shooting, and we're like, what the fuck? You start? Did you start like planning for what you had to do? Wait, we, you know you said there were ghosts, right? Or do you think you went? We through? thought there were ghosts. Yeah. Oh, okay. You I, didn't think he went to the past? No, okay, that's what yeah. you would. No, that open up a, a wormhole. That would, yeah, because that would have been a way worse freak out. You're like, oh, say, yeah, oh god, it's, it's the 19th century. No, I don't think so. I watched sliders with my dad all the time. I would have been fine. All right. Uh, my favorite. We got high and ended up ended up watching this story. Is actually one of Rob's where you watched dressage for hours, yeah. I believe. Yep. And. I think this is just a side note. One of my favorite things about young people when they're high and watch something long enough, they think they're experts at it. Mm -hmm. It's like you start just judging the horse's gait. Dude, we were getting it right, though. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, that's a trot. Uh, that's a, oh, fuck, I forget even the terms. There's trot. There was a Gait, jo uh, jog. Yeah. Uh, horse horse break dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I don't want to like, come off as a basic bitch, but I always went planet Earth when I was high. Oh, dude. Uh, that is one of the first times I dropped LSD, I was like, we're going to watch... It, it was awesome, and then mm -hmm. the plants started growing in fast motion. I was like, why are they growing that fast? And right. kicked and off a really nice six listen, hours of me freaking out. That's Hands the up. Hand up. I know that is what a basic bitch would do when they're high. It is. I've done that, too. I When I spent uh, a week at my friend's lake house in, in Michigan or whatever, we would just get fucked up, like, high all day and dr really drunk all night. This is, like, in college. And, uh, yeah, that was right when Planet Earth had come out on DVD. And mm -hmm. every day we're watching that. Except for one day we'd run out of Planet Earth. So we um, – and her dad was, like, a hippie. So he didn't care that we were just, like, getting fucked up, really. Yeah. Uh, he was mad about finding a rolled-up dollar bill in the uh, island's clubhouse. That's not the cool kind of high I was talking about, yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like it when potheads try to, like, uh, fucking uh, put you down for not liking just their drug. Right. It's like, oh, uh, this is natural. This is from the earth. It's like, nah, man, they fucking genetically modified the fuck out of that weed to make it like that. Right. Well, this yeah. was someone, yeah, well, someone was blasting off on Adderall, so. That's from a doctor. It's yeah, math. It's, yeah. It's, it's math. math. It's fine. Yeah. I also Medical remember math. on that trip, there was like a very nice, it was like an island in the, off the UP. And as we were going up there, like, <laughs> the dad was like warning us not to sleep with the locals. Dude. Uh, because they'll think we're rich. And, well, I wasn't, but the other people were. Was this the kind of dad that would go to Twin Peaks and take a photo with his kid? This is the type of dad who doesn't know what Twin Peaks is. He knows the David Lynch version. That's about it. Uh, Twin Peaks? No, this is the exact. No, this is this is. Is that too highbrow for him? It's too highbrow. It's just not in me? the same lane. Mm. Oh, he's you too know what's good funny? Uh, Will Will DeVries actually has a very similar story about going to the UP, where yeah. like the dads were like wrap it up if you're gonna do anything yeah like, they're like they want to leave here but they can't and yeah I was like how bad how hard could it be to leave and they were just like harder than you think yeah yeah i was I'm, like god damn dude i'm almost positive it was him that told me that i don't want to like misquote it but i've heard that story from not just you yeah and th that's just hilarious to me that yeah. it's that well <laughs> like documented it's that's like, hilarious that someone else said it i thought he was just being like a paranoid rich guy <laughs> no, I've like I've definitely heard that yeah. from. I, I had a pledge brother that was uh, from Detroit. Also had a lot of interesting things to say. Uh, interesting things to say about Ubers. The, the UP, dude. The UP is a separate. I do remember one of my friend's dads trying to claim the quote. I forget what movie it's from, but it's a pretty notable uh, movie quote. Where for the longest time I thought this was this guy's actual advice. Where he's like, uh, the father bull and the son cow were on a hill looking at just the field of cows and the sun sun cow was like or the sun bull was like i'm gonna run down this hill and fuck one of those cows and the bull goes the the father bull goes no son let's walk down this hill and fuck all the cows and for the longest time i gave him all the credit in the world for that quote it was like don't tire yourself out and i'm pretty sure it's like from a tarantino film or something <sighs> sure I, yeah. that sounds like an old man thing to say yeah I'll tell that to my son one day. But he told us this when we were like 12. What's your best old man? Is that your best old man advice? Yeah, I thought it was his. I thought I, I, I credited this quote to this man for like 10 years. And <laughs> Someone I, finally called and you. Then I, no, and then I watched the movie and I was like, that, that's what he told us. <laughs> that motherfucker. I yeah, because he was just some random guy. He's not coming up with his own shit. I thought he was a wise man. At, the, at best, he got that off a chain email. <laughs> <laughs> it's like forward to make sure like Barack Obama never gets in office again. Um. 
Yeah, no, I got one that was like, your best friend can be your dog, and your best friend can be whiskey, but your best friend can't be a woman. Because if your best friend's a woman, you'll end up drunk off whiskey kissing your dog. And as a 11 year old, I didn't really know how to even process that advice. Right. I still don't. That 11 year old me would have been like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. I don't know what any of that means. Yeah. I don't I'm drink. A, I'm, a, I'm cool. <laughs> sure. Women. I prefer women to men. Okay. To be quite honest. You two are like the only dudes I like. Mm. And that's what's about It's because we're feminine. Yeah. You're both femboys for sure. Dan more so, but yeah, yeah uh, clearly I'm way more masculine. It's the than, build. I'm way more aggro than Dan. Uh, is. I'm more like the bearded woman. Yeah, like from a from at a, a freak fest. Or something. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, someone freak. decided to make content out of these witch trials. That was court clerk and aspiring content creator Thomas Potts. Uh, he published the court's proceedings titled "Wonderful Discovery" or titled "The Wonderful Discovery of Witches in the County of Lancaster." Did wonderful mean something else? <laughs> No, he did use two L's for it, though. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Now, where in the UK is this? Uh, where, like north. Ge geographically. North, like just south of our, uh, Scotland. Okay. Yeah. Um, and by the way, you have to imagine that the people who are reading this most of the time were other women. Mm. It's true mm. crime. Oh. Wouldn't yeah. they be burned for reading the for just reading, delightful yes. temptation of true crime? Probably, but would that stop them? No. Why do you think you're... I fell asleep to it. Why are you educated? Must be a witch. Yeah. Why Why can you read? Honestly, is even... Why can you understand what I'm saying? I just point and you go there. Mm? Point at crotch, you go there. Point at baby, go there. That had to be concerning, though, if you were making a move towards, like, a, a broomstick. It's like, is she going to use it to clean the kitchen, or is she going to fly off? Well, I suppose if she was a witch, flying off would be the better option other than what she could do to you i know but you see her make that move you never know you never right. know you never know um so yeah probably i just is this is true crime to me from the time now what's fun about this story is that unlike uh the 10 women murdered for being convicted of witchcraft uh these trials made thomas potts's life awesome <laughs> instead of over sick yeah he did very well uh potts's life was actually already very interesting in the first place. Uh, he was raised in the home of Thomas Nivet, who is credited, maybe Nivet, I don't know, it's K-N-Y-V-E-T. Uh, Nivet. Nivet? I have no Nivet, idea. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's credited, uh, that person, Thomas Nivet, is uh, credited with apprehending Guy Fawkes. Whoa! And stopping the gunpowder plot in 1605. These trials take place in 1612. So Thomas Nivet, the guy, the Potts' surrogate father, uh, stopped Guy Fawkes and saved the life of King James I. Lame. Yeah. Uh, Potts was on a pretty normal career trajectory uh, for someone of his mediocre stature uh, until he published the recounting of this trial. The publication received royal favor because King James as in the King James Bible, uh, was actually obsessed with witchcraft. Speaking of spooky, we've got a fucking cricket in the studio right crickets, now. Crickets, rats in the ceiling. <laughs> Critters. It's just a critter, critter, critter Halloween. Yeah. I, I just, I'm waiting for like the rattlesnakes to come home. Back what to the where they hell? Were trying they to just reclaim. Come what the hell has happened here? Trying to reclaim their territory. Back to yeah. where they were born and raised in this Pentecostal church. Where they were welcomed. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> like... Given food. Talk about the best uh, rattlesnake resort, like sanctuary, is a Pentecostal church. Is it? Yes. If they just shake you around until you bite them, and you're free to bite them. Yeah, that sounds like your baby. You're not getting killed for it. That's true. He, I do shake him until he bites me. It's every day, every morning. He shakes a rattle. You shake a baby. Yeah. He's my rattle. Yeah. As one would say, as I told the doctor. Um, so. Before King James even took the throne in 1603, he was actually convinced that Scottish witches were plotting against him. He is Scottish, by the way. Mm. He was so obsessed with witchcraft that in 1597, before he took the throne, uh, he wrote a book called Demonology, spelled Daemonology. Daemon. Daemonology. D-A-E-M-O-N. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, about black magic, necromancy, and so on. In it, among other things, he describes the four types of demons based on how they torment you. These are King James. Four types of demons. There's four categories of demons, I guess you could say. 
And I don't know if there's like a full on like four tool, five tool demon who can do it all. I guess right. it's just Satan. <laughs> right. Well, Satan's not even like uh, the big baddie. What? It's like if you go into like the Elder S- or the uh, Greater Scrolls of Solomon, yeah. like he names them all. Satan is just like a. He's not the overlord of. He's not the final boss. Lucifer. Oh, they're it, two different people? Yeah, Satan and Lucifer are different. When do they get. Uh, well, it depends. Shoved like, together. It's, oh, well, I mean, it's all different lore, right? Yeah. But, like, it, it's kind of like, eh, yeah, Satan's like the embodiment of wrath. Okay. And Lucifer's kind of the overall. Okay. Like, but, I mean, like, yeah, Dante's Inferno, I think, is Satan is the big baddie. Okay. And, like, the ruler of hell, but, like, Lucifer kind of is, like, the the dude. The puppet master of it okay. all. Yeah. So these are the four types of demons, according to King James, and he did extensive research on this book. Yeah, I think there's only four because he was just tired. Probably. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. I'm a king. What am I well, doing? Well, he wasn't a king yet. <laughs> oh. And he wasn't necessarily in line for the throne. Like, I think he didn't seize it, but, like, I think the succession was a little sus. I a little questionable. And I don't care. Um, the four types are spectra. These are spirits that trouble houses or solitary places, kind of like a ghost, basically. Yeah, or like a poltergeist or something. Spectra like or specter? Spectra. Hmm. Which is the same thing. I mean, spectre probably yeah. came from that. Yeah. Uh, there are, the second type is obsession. Hmm. These are spirits that trouble people at various times of the day. Uh, although, then it goes on to say such as incubi or succubi, succubae. Yeah, which but those don't trouble you at times of the day. That's like a nighttime kind of gig. Well, yeah, it's like a lady or a guy or something or I don't know. Yeah, uh, I believe uh, succubus is a woman yeah. that drains you through your dick. Yeah, yeah. Hence the suck. Yeah, <laughs> but the suck and like succubus. your wife. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, boy, wives. Don't can't, say that. I'm kidding. You, Katie's lovely. If you can't, <laughs> if you can't live with him. Kill but Courtney, on the other hand, she's never going to listen. So She'll never hear this. Nope. She'll never hear a word. Uh, the third type is possession. These are spirits that enter inwardly into a person to trouble them. And the fourth type is fairies. Ooh. Illusionary spirits uh, that prophecy, consort, and transport their servants. Hmm. Yeah, fairies are an interesting part of, actually, like, Scottish and Irish lore. Yeah. Too. Like, they... Bad babies are said to, like, a lot of babies were killed in that region of the world or left to die because they were like, oh. Too many fairies. This is a fairy baby. Like, they swapped out our good baby, and now it's crying uh, and being shitty, yeah. so we got to leave it in the woods. You can't you gotta leave it on a hill. Yeah. Too safe. Yeah. Yeah. I do that all the time uh, to test with my child. Starts crying. I'll just leave it in the backyard. Rory. 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 Are you a fairy baby? Yeah. And he'll just keep crying, and I'll be like, you sound mm. like a fairy baby. <laughs> he interrogates him, waterboards him. Yeah. Sees if he floats. But with milk, so it he gets He's going to get the nutrients. Yeah, he gets the nutrients. Milk boarded? Yeah, he gets milk boarded. He just has his wife's breast and just Just, Yeah. I mean, it's actually a perfect because it smothers him. Yeah. In the, you know, the the breast lays on his face. It's a bib, actually, on his face. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a pillow. I'm smothering him with a, a milk shooting pillow. A lot of people would sign up for that way to go in death row, I believe. Yeah, not the worst way yeah. to die, I guess. Um, this book, by the way, is likely what inspired Macbeth. I was just about to say Scottish Wishes is, uh, Scottish Witches is a very Macbeth kind of, that, yep. that's the first thing I thought this of. This and, uh, there's some Scottish witch trials that also, uh, played into it that also inspired King James. He was, he was involved in those Scottish witch trials pre-kingdom, uh, pre-kingship or whatever. Um, anyway, all that inspired Macbeth. So after he became king... Uh, James enacted the Act Against Conjuration, Witchcraft, and Dealing with Evil and Wicked Spirits. Uh, this imposed a death penalty on those convicted of harm through the use of magic or exhuming corpses for magical purposes. So if you exhume a corpse for non-magical purposes... So a doctor? <laughs> yeah, that's a, I guess that's a non-magical exhumation. Yeah, when does that line get Although, drawn? Although, <laughs> honestly, for a doctor in the... Uh, 17th century, the, you might just sound magical. I was about to say, like, when does that line get drawn? What's scientific and what's magical? Because, like, I mean, shit. Come on. Like, oh, we cured something? I Fucking think, witch? I think like, magic is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no way. You don't say. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's get like, out. do I like this guy? Yeah. yeah. Hey, he cured cancer. Is he cool? 
Is he good hang? Is he cool? Is he good hang? Nah. Fucking yeah, witch. Mad, Get rid of him. Witch. So despite that, James was actually pretty skeptical of witchcraft evidence presented to him to the extent that he personally pointed out bullshit arguments made by the court. Uh, and it, so, you know, he only wanted to bust real witches. He's not trying to just stack bodies. Like, he wants witches, doesn't want to kill the innocent. Right. So he wants a good argument. He wants to hear a good argument. And when he does hear a good argument, not just for witches to be convicted, but when a judge makes a good ruling on someone who's not a witch, he likes that. Oh, that's good. He likes uh, jurisprudence or whatever. Sure, yeah. yeah. In so much as you can have any of that for a witch trial. Right. Yeah, of course. It, well, it, it creates the illusion that it's fair. Yes. When, yeah, that's why he likes it. Right. And that... Was he the Jonah Hex of his time? That's a Golden Circle reference if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Who doesn't like Brolin? I missed that one. I uh, I missed the uh, Confederate superhero movie. <laughs> yeah, he just hunts demons, right, and like supernatural powers. I, dude, I've never seen John X. You missed out. I guess so. Brolin got that so killed. little work for so long that he he will be in any movie, no matter how good or bad. It's crazy. Do you think he it was after the movies. Bush movie? Like, he had worked before like before Bush. He was, work, he was always a working actor, but he didn't get big. It was No Country. When did W yeah. come out? W, no Country really brought him back. Did W come out before or after No Country, though? That's where I'm having a hard uh, time. It had to come out after because it was at the end of Bush's. Was it? He was, he no cr- Country was like 06, 07. Oh, well, yeah. Then that makes sense. Let me sell you on Jonah Hex huh. in one sentence. Okay. Just from the... Uh, <laughs> Well, it has 12% on Rotten Tomatoes, by the way. <laughs> Fantastic. You sell him on this real quick. Yeah, so you, you're great sell. You got me one. Yeah, so having cheated death, gunslinger and bounty hunter Jonah Hex, Josh Brolin, has one foot in the natural world and one in the supernatural. Are you interested? No. Why not? Because it sounds like shit. <laughs> it sounds terrible. All right, do you remember Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage? I didn't even watch that movie, no. You never saw Ghost Rider? Why did I have to? I watched the cartoon when I was a kid. Yeah, it is a comic. Yeah, like Ghost Rider had a Ghost Rider toy, things like that. But um, I'm in on anything Nick Cage. I'm not against anything Nick Cage at all. I like. I thought Pig was one of the better movies of the past couple of years. Honestly, that's a different situation though. But yeah, no, it's a good movie. He does both terrible and great movies. No, he's he's a fucking Academy Award winner. Right. Like it, people forget that. Like he he's is a also good Ghost Rider, but he's also Kiss of the Vampire. Like. I don't even know what that is. Vampire's Kiss or whatever. He's like, the all the crazy Nick Cage shots of, and gifs of him being like, yeah. and shit are from like that. Is that the beekeeper thing? No, no that's, that's Wicker uh, Man. Yeah, that's Wicker Man. Uh, yep. But uh. Vampire's Kiss is the one where all the fucking gotcha. insane like 90s gifs of Nick Cage are from. Pretty much. So anyway, James was a big witchcraft guy. So Thomas Potts publishing that book, it got him fast tracked to the big time. Uh, uh, for writing the book. For writing the book, he got fast tracked at the bit time. He was living the good life you after mean the this big time. book. At first, he w- what? what? Who are his peers? What, what, what? Uh, lower middle class, middle middle class. But what is he, the best what they audience? Do? What What do you mean? Like what is what What is he living the good life in? What is he? I'll tell him about to tell you. Okay. Here's Let what he finish. got promoted to from his m- meager court clerk job that he was going to be stuck in forever, like a kind of meh bureaucrat. Uh, first, he got a job. Uh, where he was in charge of uh, dogs having sex with each other. Okay. He was a breeder? Yeah, he was a breeder. <laughs> King James was, a, like, really into hounds also, so he became King James' primary <laughs> hound breeder. He was the hound. The houndsmith. Yeah, the, the houndsmith. Sure. Yeah. You make hounds! Yeah. You're a houndsmith. He did. Yeah. But then he did so good at that that he got promor- uh, promoted to enforcing sewer law. So he's a poop smith. Uh... More like a poop constable. Well, if you're a houndsmith, you're a poop smith. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. He went from a houndsmith to a poop constable. Okay, it's it's title too. Both so. of these were great jobs for him. He actually and he was a poop constable because he got to uh, assign deputies. Yeah, he was a poop sheriff. I should say. or commissioner. Poop, or poop commission. commissioner. Was it Timothy Dexter that got put in charge of counting deer? Yes. Like they were like, go count deer, Tim. That's what that sounds like to me. It's like no, you, these are real jobs. So what's Timothy? Go make my dope dogs fuck each other to make more dope. Oh, dogs. that that one's a real job. What does and poop constable do exactly? Poop constable uh, enforces petty sewer law. Like so, don't 
like what he, is he like gives fines for using the sewer wrong or probably tossing shit out a window or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Okay. Tight. Yeah. So that was he reached the pinnacle. Like he hit his glass ceiling. He hit his concrete ceiling, to be quite honest. But he did really well for himself. <laughs> he hit his manhole? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully his kids did better after that. But he ascended very quickly thanks to the publication of that book. Or ascended higher than he should have thanks to the publication of that book. Wait, the ceiling was the poop constable? The ceiling was poop constable. <laughs> so that's the good life? Yeah. Well, the roof is the ceiling. In the words, Michael Jordan. Fuck them kids. I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, historians have said that Potts' reporting uh, was extremely biased, made a lot of important omissions, and also cleaned up the speech and arguments of the people he was on the side of, rooting for, whatever. However, that's pretty far for the, par for the course for basically any historical source, whether you're talking Herodotus, 19th century newspapers, or even the Bible, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, keeping his intentions in mind, Potts' book is actually an ex- excellent historical source especially coupled with other stuff we know. So we're going to talk about the Somlesbury Witches, their trial today, Village of Somlesbury, Lancashire County. The Pendle Witches, whole other story. They are both of the same Lancashire witch trials, but they are separate cases. Cool. And this case has enough uh, depth to it that we can just talk about that. I like that you dive deep on one. Like, I'm excited about that. I mean, there was just so much stuff in this that I was just like, why... Why he pulled a Richard. Cut, he why just cut got shit tired. Out. What? He just got tired like Richard. Yeah. He yeah. just stopped listening to demons. Or James, rather. Yeah, James. Uh, whatever. Uh, Same thing. Uh, just a quick note to you on, uh, you were just mentioning like, oh, you know, for the time, like, yeah, of course it was biased. Of course he had it, no, there, he, there was no, like, even part of his mind where objectivity was but that's, on that's, the table. That's even a relatively new concept right. in, in reporting, and that's something we're, like, currently trying to get to. Right. I think people forget that sometimes, where it's like, objectivity isn't something we reached at one point and fell away from. Like, we've constantly been trying been to idea, get there. It's been an idea people talk about, like, philosophers and shit like that, but in terms of, like, the more actual- Like, democracy even? Like, right. it, it's not like we have any sort of perfect democracy in the world. Like, right. it, these are these are ideals and virtues. They're not, like, concrete things that have existed and we're falling away from. Yes. Yeah, I, I just I the always idea get, of objectivity has been around forever, but the practice of it has not really common. Even it, it, as a virtue in press, isn't something that's relatively like long standing. It's it's not kind of recent. Yeah, really. It, even fucking like it's the, really post war. Well, maybe post World War One. Yeah, I, I would say that's right. Post World War One to like the nineties. Yeah, yeah it all really revolves around the Democ- Democratic Republic of North Korea. That's right, the most objective republic. Mm-hmm. They are. Um, Objectively, the greatest at being objective. I mean, Democratic Republic is in the name. Yeah. How could it not be? Right. It's like, so wait, should we start a newspaper? Or is it the People's like, Democratic Republic of North Korea? <laughs> let's so just call it, let's start a newspaper called the Objective Times. It's like, we are objective. It's in, it's in the name. It says objective. And it's just it's really just biased. Slander. <laughs> it's, it's just, just straight slander. slander. It's just a yellow rag. Like, yeah, yeah oh, dude. Oh, my God. Just yeah. pure filth. Yeah. I, I'm I'm here for it's it. That's everyone. actually what we're gonna put on the Patreon. But the objective we, but we look. We don't have a side. We fire randomly into the crowd. Yeah, we are a sawed-off shotgun of truth, <laughs> bodying whoever we can. Equal opportunity. <laughs> you no, can no, all no, catch. E- well, it's not so much equal opportunity as it is like random opportunity. Yeah, well, that's the most equal opportunity. Chaos. Right, right. But yeah. equal opportunity in, in implies that there's like a small number of people who were like you and you and you. No, 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 no. There is an infinite amount. Of t- it's a, the most target-rich environment We're you can just firing. imagine. And we are just firing off. Yeah. We're like one of those silly hoses you attach to your sprinkler. Yeah. For the kids to enjoy. Yeah. That just made me think of the South Park where they have one of those, but it's like a weasel with it. And it's like Dick is shooting them with water. <laughs> Dude, so I don't even dumb. remember that episode, which is it's crazy. So it's just like a le- minor detail. It's so stupid, but hilarious. So the three women accused in the Somlesbury witch trials were Jane Southworth, which, uh, Jeanette Beerley, and Ellen Beerley. They were accused of being witches by, of course, if we know anything about witch trials, uh, the most obvious accuser of witches of all. Teenage girls? A teenage girl. Fuck yeah! It's always... Always a fucking teenage girl. 
My wife and I talk about this constantly. It's like teenage girls might be the most horrifying group of people on right. the fucking planet. This is why it b- drives me bananas when people act like witch trials are just like men seeking out witches. Because it is always a teenage girl testifying against them. Because they're at the age where it's like, oh shit, people listen to what I say. Not like they care about my opinion, right? but they care about my body parts. And they want, and I have control more than people say I do. Teenage girls have, way, throughout history, actually have a lot of control I would in say, weird situations. I would say, this is totally biased, but I think probably until after college, uh, girls, females, women, whatever, have more power than men. Oh, dude, are you, like... I've watched teenage girls that I was friends with destroy each other. Yeah. Like, just, like, because of a minor disagreement. And now they're they, figuring they, out their power. They might not always realize it. No, not at all. And that's, you know, and they might be dis, dis, uh, convinced of it or whatever. But, man, I swear to God, I've, I've, I've no, no dude, even a dude who has punched me in the face, has made me feel less powerful than a group of girls. Mm-hmm. A teenage girl saved Ethan Hawke's life in training day. That's true. That is true. Power. Otherwise, he's going to get smoked in that bath. <laughs> Dude, seriously, if that chick didn't roll up and she's like, oh, yo, that white boy helped me out. <laughs> like, it would have been like, yeah, that white boy fucked him up, yo. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, we were going to take his kidneys out. <laughs> like, so lucky he wasn't just like, why do I still have this fucking plastic wall in my pocket? I'm going to put it in the glove box. Yeah. I'm good to go. Well, he was giving peace. Also, kids. yeah, he liked to get wet. Yeah. Yeah. He did like Everyone knows that. It's true. So, fourteen-year-old the, the the witness against these uh, women was fourteen-year-old Grace Sourbutts, which is a <laughs> real name. <laughs> this is what you come here for, folks. Yeah, this kind of history. Highbrow, highbrow stuff. <laughs> Sourbutts. Sour butts. <laughs> is which, it spelled Sourbutts? S O W E R B U T T. So maybe it's Sourbutts. No, it's probably still sour. Sour butts. Sour of butts. Well, both of these names are funny because you know it's like people back then had names that were based on what they did type of stuff. So, like, Jane Southworth, was she just, like, constantly decreasing in value? <laughs> like, she was just constantly less worth. Or she gave really worth. good head. Oh. Worthy. Also self. could be. And also, if he's a sewer butt, uh, maybe mid-pants. Could be that. Uh, he could be an early colostomy bag. Uh, adopter? Pioneer, yeah. yeah. Adopter. Yeah. Or, he, or maybe her dad just had horrible diarrhea. Or he sowed a lot of seed in butts. <laughs> a new farming technique. <laughs> yeah, he's like, we take prisoners. It was a, it was an ass fucking joke. Yeah. Well, uh, as God intended, <laughs> oh, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, like you're allowed to have butts. A sex. sower of butts. <laughs> yeah, he's a butt sower. <laughs> yeah, call him sower butts. Her dad. Yeah, someone back in her line was just really just into fucking it. asses, <laughs> left and right. All right, sower butts. Slow yeah. down. So uh, Jeanette Beerley was actually Grace's grandma, and Ellen was her aunt. Oh, okay. Or if it is sour butts, he just rips ass all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Your farts stink, bro. Yeah. Stinky uh, I fart. I feel like that's more accurate. That's a, that's a Scottish He's stinky, a stinky butts. stinky guy. Yeah. Well, these are English. These people are these English. These are English stinky butts. But even for the time. Yeah. So the trial of these women was held on August 19th, 1612, before uh, Judge Sir Edward Bromley, who was uh, maybe slightly related, seeking a promotion to a circuit nearer to London. Mm-hmm. So he maybe wanted to impress the king by begging some witches. Sure. Not great for these chicks. No. Uh, Grace was the prosecution's chief witness, of course. Yes. Uh, Here's the stuff Grace accused these three women of. Right. Oh, great. Uh, Jeanette and Ellen Beerley uh, were able to transform themselves into dogs, uh, and they haunted and vexed her for years, I guess, as dogs. Like, they'd be like, hey, Grace, hey, Grace, and then just, like, start going after her as a dog and then pop back up into human form and be like, yeah, it was fucked up, wasn't it? <laughs> we got you good. Yeah, you <laughs> dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> got her. Now, I do have to say, I do sometimes have a weird, uh, like, not urge, but, like, I find it fun sometimes to uh, scare the crap out of my kid. You know, it's funny. My wife actually has the same urge toward me. (laughs) She straight up will pop out from behind like doors and shit. When like I'll go, you know how my bathroom is oriented downstairs. Like there's that laundry room to the right of it. 
I'll come out and she'll be standing in the dark just staring at me. Fucking scares the shit out of me like all the time. But you've never had like a reflex? <laughs> no. No, by reflex, this is how soft I am. I recoil. I'm like, oh shit. I get small. So if you're out there, invade Jake's home. Yeah. Jake will recoil immediately. Yeah, my dog will eat you. He will sub- be submissive. That's why I have a giant dog. Just throw the So things. you can be a raging pussy? Just Yes. Just throw Wheeler some meat. He will now, not Oh, he'll you be all. your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> he will eat. Just bring a fucking T-bone. Uh, he also cowers. He'll shut the fuck real. up. Oh, your dog cowers, bro. We don't uh, fuck Chase. Oh, up. my dog's soft, but I don't, he doesn't need to be hard. Because you are? We're oh. the converse. Rock hard. <laughs> well, Chase is also rock hard. Okay, who we... would win in a fight? You and Chase versus Wheeler and Jake. Oh, we. I don't need Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, that's more just a Dan fighting me and my dog situation. And then I just trained, I mean, I trained Jake's dog already, so I could just, actually, he's, he's, he's backslid. Yeah. He's backslid. Yeah, I can, I can train him back to just turning on you. It's like, well, Dan yells loud, so he has a point. Very dog brain. See, that's why I have small dogs, because Jack will crawl up your short leg and just eat your testicles. Well, I taught him how to do that this weekend. Mm-hmm. Or past weekend. Yeah. Yeah, I taught him with, how to bite not, kids. With not teeth. No, yeah, he, uh, he, he. Knows how to attack children now. Oh, nice. Yeah. He has actually nipped the baby before. No way. Really? Yeah. Before staying with me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you got to put him down. That was my fault because I was like, Jack, here's your new brother. It's Rory. And I just kept putting him near and Jack was like. <laughs> See? And I was like, oh, he's <laughs> not gonna, <laughs> Context clues, he's Rob. Gonna, I was like, he's not going to do anything. And Rob, like, you have to have to put him down now. That's how it works. That's one. Yeah, one strike and you're out. I mean the baby, not. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, just because he's softer. Look, man. He didn't bop him. Sometimes you have to have a seventh trimester abortion. <laughs> also, classic South Park quote. Yeah, I'd like to have an abortion. What's what? What trimester are you in? Twenty fourth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, people think that uh, you know. It's the baby's body once it's been alive for a year. But, like, I, my body's still doing most of the work for the baby. Yeah, I mean, my mother taught me, I brought you into this world, I can take you out of it. And I I live by those words. Yeah, she didn't come up with that one. That was Bill Cosby. Oh, fuck. Man, I, my whole life's been a lie. <laughs> Probably. Almost certainly. What did, what did you think it was? Yeah, this no. is the grand. Fa- <laughs> it's it's the grand facade, Dan. Like, it's all just make believe. We're all living lies. It's all make em ups, man. We're all liars. It is all make em ups. We're all fucking, everyone's a make em up if you think about it. All fucking liars. Uh, oh, all right. So let's get back into this stuff. So Grace also said that the Beerleys. This doesn't even include Southworth yet. She's too busy uh, taking her worth south. Um, they tried to make her drown herself. Classic. Which, I don't know if that's through witchcraft or they were just like, go drown yourself, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Why don't you go drown? That's that's how you think you should weave? That's how you think you should weave that flax? Why don't you weave underwater? Yeah. <laughs> go weave yourself a net, <laughs> put it on top of you, and then and walk sink. into the water. <laughs> fucking sink. Um, they uh, then took her to the Walshman family house uh, where they stole the Walshman's one-year-old and sucked its blood until it died. Oh, uh, well, yeah. That's just a Christopher where Reeves from? move. Yeah. What? Where they, where are they sucking the blood from? I don't know. I think it's important. <laughs> Dan wants to know. Where, now, wh- what's good and what's bad? It's good detail. Um, If I'm going to suck blood out of a baby, it's got to be upper body. So what's you don't want people to mistake you for a pedophile as you're desanguinating right. a baby. Right. Yeah. Desanguinating is, wow, that's... Didn't expect that on this podcast, but here we are. <laughs> like, I'll suck it straight up. Like, head. Yeah, like, if you, if you, like, yeah, like, if someone Whoa. catches you jamming a hole into a baby and sucking its blood out, it's got to be far enough above the baby's penis or vagina. It's got to be right into the skull like a Capri Sun. Well, <laughs> no, you got to, like, crack its neck and shotgun it like a beer, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, there's more than one way to, to skin a baby, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. To drain a baby. But as long as they don't think you're being sexual with the baby. Right. Can't be a You don't want to be a groomer. Yeah. No, you don't want to be a groomer. You don't want to be. I just want to suck this baby dry. Well, can you groom a dead baby? Really? You already groomed it to completion. (laughs) Guys, this is the the public episode. This is seen behind the paywall. Whatever. It's spooky season. (laughs) Yeah, we're getting there. 
God, these hard AFs hit. Yeah, that's why I got you a Coors. Thank you. For the next one. I was like, uh, Jay can't have two. And I'm just tired. Yeah, you're slap happy. Yeah. Which, by the way, I see my kid doing now, and it's fucking hilarious. Um, after the baby died from them sucking it dry, uh, they then dug up the baby from the church graveyard, ate it, uh, but not all of it, but like, you know, a Native American, uh, they used the rest of the body to make ointments out of it. That's just called being sustainable. To help, de- mm-hmm. yeah, they're green. Every part of the baby. I guess it's green. I guess if you're green, you're a witch. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I right, mean. To be honest, yeah, probably. Ask the right person. Uh, and then also. Yeah, I mean, you pull every witch in Austin right now. I bet you. A lot of Priuses. What political lot of leaning yeah. they're going. Yeah. A lot of Priuses. A lot of Priuses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, the Beerleys, along with Jane Southworth, uh, had uh, gone to the North Shore of the River Ribble on Thursday and Sunday nights regularly, uh, where they fucked shadow demons. They danced with them, ate with them, and then fucked them. Uh, that sounds kind of fun. The shadow Jesus. demons. Oh, that's cricket. The crickets that's are fine. in. That's fine. They're in the from the sky. That's fine. Oh, we have mini plagues in the building <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> that's sick. Yeah. We got rats, crickets. Yeah. When do we get the haunting of the old Pentecostal people? Just snake ghosts? Still no, it's doing just like an old pastor that just comes in who's got Alzheimer's. Can't remember anything. That's why most ghosts are so confused and angry. They're old. They They're still alive. They, yeah, all, they have Alzheimer's. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, many, many, many a ghost you see that's like blue and wrapped in chains. That's just an old man who wandered into the wrong shed. Fell into, some, fell into some paint and chains <laughs> and then wandered into your room. He has Alzheimer's. He doesn't know where he is. He's confused there's, and angry. There's a silver alert out for that man. <laughs> silver alerts are the funniest alerts to get when they come on your phone. They're actually hilarious. It's like, one, it's silver alert. Silver it's always, alert it's, is hilarious in its own right. It's also like always the same car. It's like, Seen leaving in a Honda Odyssey. It's like, of course they're in a fucking mini. Oh, so silver uh, is old person. Yes. yes. I thought it was just a car, like a stolen car. No. Yeah, silver it's alert's old person. old person. Amber alert is a kid. And then there's another alert that's for just like a normal. I don't uh, what it is. There's an alert for cops that have been fired on by a suspect. Um, I forget what it's blue? called. It might be blue alert, but yeah, there's one that you get on your phones very seldomly. What am I supposed like, to do about that? Nothing, man. They didn't do myself. I'm sorry. They didn't do their job, did they? Right. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> it's like if you can't, what do you want me to do? Right. I mean, I'm sure there's some people. If you that see are something, like, say oh, something. Yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah. But I am not that person. Let's so. get that cop killer. Don't yeah. even own a gun to do it. I mean, I guess I'd if I saw somebody like mass shooting or something, I'd run them over my car if I could get if I had a, that perfect opportunity to do that. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, sure. You would think you would do that. Right. I would be like, if someone's mass shooting, I'm not going to. No, I'd have to have the perfect Yeah, he's going to unload <laughs> on your windshield. I'd have yeah. to have the perfect shot. Like, he's not even looking. Or you just ghost ride the whip. Uh, oh, you hop out. Yeah. Take him out. That'd be sick also. That'd be we fun. need to bring ghost riding back. Yeah. Yeah, more of that. I mean, I used to do that with my bike all the time. Your bicycle? Mm-hmm. What? Cool. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. What does that even mean? I you you get out of your car while it's moving. See how long the bike can go without you on it. Oh, okay. You don't remember that whole trend where people would hop out of their cars doing like fifteen mi- or like eight miles an hour and then run be- back into it. Yeah, yeah where yeah, they'd yeah. walk by it. Well, they, you got to like, dance and everything. Well, that was a whole another craze too. To uh, the Drake song, right? Oh yeah. So I Kiki. I wrote about someone who got hit by a car while doing it. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? And then oh, the Kiki. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, lots of people got hit by cars during that one. Because, yeah, their car was in drive, and they would <laughs> yeah. just dance next to it. Which it's, is fine. It's amazing. You're not touching the wheel. Who knows what can well, happen? Well, before you do that, you have to get your you know, alignment in order. Yeah. Or you yeah. could cheat by having a witch drive for you through. Go surround the broom. Yeah. Speaking it doesn't really count if you have a Tesla now. No, it doesn't at all. So the prosecution, after they're done with Grace, uh, who was an excellent witness, uh, they then called Thomas Walshman, the person whose baby was allegedly disanguinated as Grace watched and was like, stop it. That's a baby. Uh, and he was like, yeah, my baby did die. And it was like a weird way that it died. So witches, I guess. Why not? Now, uh, I did a little digging and I figured out why his baby actually died. Did you dig up the baby, Rob? 
Uh, no, they ointmented that baby. They ate it. Oh, right, right. Honestly, that might pass here in Texas. What? You know, if I ever, with the, the new laws that are passing, I might just have to blame witches. It's worth a shot. Mm-hmm. I don't think Abbott would believe it, but Dan Patrick would. I think so. The Lieutenant Governor would 100% be like, It wasn't well, an abortion. It, <laughs> was, it was witches. not rule it out that it could have been witches uh, that caused that uh, say, weird. Yeah, I'd say Dan Patrick and Ken Paxton. Yeah, they'll probably, buy it. Yeah, for sure. They'll buy it. Abbott's like, no, I understand medicine. I've spent a lot of time in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, I understand witchcraft, too, which hit me with a tree. So <laughs> what I was going to say, it was just yeah. a lightning strike twice. Right. Hit that baby. Uh, but the reason that Walshman's baby died, from what I could gather, from what I read about it and stuff, uh, is that it was 1612. Yeah. The baby died from it being 1612. Yeah. Not a great year for babies. No. <laughs> no. Not a great year for people, really. No. Yeah. Like, I just, like, medically, as a, as a, uh, having some background in medicine, in so much that uh, I have been giving my baby, med- my one-year-old baby medicine over the last couple weeks uh, for sniffles and stuff like that, um, my, my assumption is that the, their baby died of it being 16 I mean, you know, we would all be doctors in 1612. Like, yeah. we would be fucking doctor be doctors. Fucking God king. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, clean the wound. <laughs> clean it. Just clean that. Uh, Wash your me, hands. What's that? Give me that whiskey. Yeah. Dump well, it on the wound. Now you'll live. You'll probably be burned at the stake for wasting whiskey, but probably. You know, yeah. yeah, but it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to look up major events that happened in 1612. Really just not a lot. We didn't really advance humanity there. No. There was a, a Moscow uh, uprising. In Moscow? Mm-hmm. Well, one isn't there. There'll be another one soon. Oh, yeah. That's, and uh, that's we'll coming. do an episode on that. Uh, when it happens, but it hasn't happened yet. So the judge heard all of this testimony, and he turned to the accused women, and he was like, well, you witches, listen to everything these people have said you did. Disgusting. Repent. Awful. Jen. What do you have to say to that? Because it sounds pretty bad. And the women, the Beerleys and Southworth, uh, they fell. This is from actually Potts. I'll read it, mm-hmm. read it verbatim. They humbly fell upon their knees with weeping tears and desired what? What, did, what do you think they desired? What do you think they asked for? Mercy. Mercy. Forgiveness? Mercy? No, they, uh, they um, desired death. Um, what's like more babies? Actually. What what is uh, patience? Like, hear us out. What is that? Like, what? Like, they no, wanted to be this heard. Is cl- you know, it's Rob, right? Doing the episode. What's the left turn? You know what the left turn is? No, I don't know. They were asking for more baby blood. I don't know. What were they asking for? Exorcism? Uh, no, they fell to their knees and they were like, please, judge, for the love of God. Cross examine the witness. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, what they, they should have. Like, please. Please cross examine the witness. That's What's actually the motive, best yeah. possible thing you could ask for in that situation, too. That's yeah. the most logical thing you could ask for. Yeah. And upon saying this, uh, Grace Sourbutts was like, oh shit, they can do that? Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like, wait, 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 what? What? Uh, then. Grace Sourbutts and the prosecution's other witnesses, uh, the Walshman guy and there were two others, uh, all started yelling at each other and arguing with each other. That's a good way to stall. <laughs> because they were all like... A lot of rabbling. A lot of rabbling. Yeah, a lot of like, whoa! I didn't... Like, none of them thought that their uh, stories would be cross-examined. Under, under review? Under any yeah. scrutiny whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. It's unprecedented. They thought they could just get up on the stand and... And why? <laughs> say whatever they needed to say. <laughs> We didn't think we'd have to back it up. <laughs> the imagine this? The, the audacity of that. <coughs> Literally, the, I was like dying laughing when I read that. They're like, please, please. Like, I was like, okay, they fell to their knees, and I was like, they're going to beg for more. I was like, no, they just want a trial. Yeah, they want a fair one. Right. Yeah. Uh, and the judge, and honestly, like, this is 17th century England. Like, mm-hmm. this is proto jury trial stuff like that. There are fair. Ish trials. Is like the Magna Carta written yet? 
That was in the 1200s. Yeah, so they they have a level of rights. Of and yeah, of, of even more, way more rights by this justice, point. Justice, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, this is trial by jury. Yeah, you have a sort of proto, like Western American Anglo. That's really embarrassing. I just asked if the Magna Carta. Was Can they ask for trial by years combat? Years yeah. Almost, I think almost to the. The year, year for it. Yeah. What? Can they ask for trial by combat? I don't think they can. Damn it. Why would you want to fight a witch, though? That's not even fair. Uh, so, yeah, all the witnesses were like, what, what the fuck are you talking about? No, 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 no. So, eventually, two prosecutors questioned Grace uh, privately or something on her own, whatever. I don't remember what it was. And she admitted she was lying. Whoa. She admitted, yeah. She folded like a goddamn chair. Yep. I made it up. And Potts... Thomas Potts, the writer of the book, actually devotes some time explaining why Grace's evidence was trash. That's cool. Uh, mm, mm. Left turn again. No one here is altruistic or objective. Let's just put it that way. But here's what Potts says. Uh, so he's like, you know, he, uh, I'm sorry, I wrote this. Uh, so of course, it's not very, it's not reasonable or logical or anything. He's just like, no, witches don't do that. They do this, right? He's like, no, what Grace said, witches don't do that shit. They do this shit. Oh, she got the witch stuff wrong. Yeah, yeah, it was obviously fake. Right, it was obviously fake because she said the like witches. There are witches and they do do stuff, but not the stuff Grace said. Right. And here is the stuff. So first and foremost, it was not considered credible that the accused uh, Somlesbury witches were actually witches because they did not have uh, what are called familiars. Mm. Oh, things that they can bind to their control. Yes, yeah. specif specifically animals. Right. They just have an animal companion. Think like uh, Salem, the cat in Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Right, Beach. yeah, absolutely. That type of shit. And then humans are familiars to demons. So oh, is that a thing? Yeah, like you How do are... you know that? Don't worry about it. Show me your teeth. Little point here than last time. Uh, what happens. That'd be Nothing. cool if you're just sharpening your teeth, like you're just nail nail filing your teeth. What if you were? What if that was like a really sick prank you played? Like you're rich enough to just get new teeth, and so like you played like a sick prank on your wife, where you filed your teeth just a little bit every day until they got sharper and sharper. I and added you, more. And you gas litter into like thinking you just had like a shark mouth. Yeah, that would be wild. Just be a James Bond villain. It'd be Jaws. No, Jaws had uh, metal teeth. They that's weren't right. sharp, though. You know, actually, that's how they make veneers, though. Like, they file your teeth. They file down your teeth down. Into yeah. points. You've, you actually have a gross-ass mouth if you have veneers. Yeah, like, if you ever see before they put the veneers in, it's terrifying. We have a friend with veneers. We do? Yeah. There's an old intern at TFM that had a set of veneers. You can imagine who it is. Is it Curry? No, woman. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, I have no idea. Well, never mind. Our fave? Yeah, our favorite. The one that posts, like, uh, Instagram stories at Doc Al and, like, concentration camps. Oh, I didn't realize that was her. I, uh, I still don't know But our friend who has yeah, yeah. I was there when he got the, when it happened. When he oh, was, oh, 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 our friend. Yeah. The one that lost all his teeth. Yeah, well, yeah. no, just, like, two. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. 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 Uh, fuck, I didn't know that they did that. Uh, but, yeah, so they didn't have any Salem the Cats. So they were like, well, pfft. They didn't even have familiars. These can't be witches. Like, that, you got to throw that out right away. Uh, Grace's story also about the witches turning themselves into dogs was called into question because, as most English demonologists agreed at the time, mm -hmm. including King James, mm -hmm. a lot of experts, demonologists agreed, um, God did not grant anyone but himself the ability to change the laws of nature. So in that theory, then there couldn't be witches. Well, right. Yeah. But. But. However. That's you can attempt in, it. That's. Not really fun. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. It's really why, boring. Why go with that? Don't. Because if nothing can change the laws of nature by God, then witches literally can't exist. But that's not. So you're defeating your own argument. That's not yeah. really the point of this. Yeah, that would be dumb. Right. Don't talk about that. Right. Uh, also, the shadow demon orgy, also called a sabbat. Interesting. Jake. <laughs> Sabbath. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Sabbath is a Christian term as well, actually. Yeah, I know, but you stole it from us. Yeah. Uh, wasn't believed in because in, in the minds of the English, witches didn't do that. They didn't do the sabbats. That was not something the English believed. So why did Grace testify all of this then? Uh, she said she was coached 
to say what she said by a Jesuit priest from the Southworth family. Interesting. To say these things. The Southworth family. From so someone South. implicated with someone on trial. Yes. Interesting. Conflict of interest. Well, nope, not really. Not at all. Well, there is a conflict of interest, but it's not what you think. So that would make sense because uh, Catholics and Anglicans actually believed witches did different stuff. Okay. So basically everything Grace said was stuff that Catholics believe witches did. Which, throw that shit out. Right. I mean, you guys are practically witches. Uh, we have a wizard king, but yeah, that's... Yeah, he does change bread into the body of Christ. Well, yes. Anglicans believe that as well. They take communion. Oh, well, then you're all witches again. Anglicans take communion. I think it's like... I don't remember who does and doesn't take communion, but Anglicans for sure do. Anglican and Catholicism... Episcopalianism, it's the same thing. It, it is so similar to Catholicism that the Vatican has actually like decreed, it's been my whole life, before my whole, before my life even started, that like if a Catholic is in a pinch and they need mass on Sunday, they can go to an Episcopalian church. Yeah, mm. they should send a cease and desist. The Episcopalian should? No, the Catholics. Why? Like, get oh, off a C&D on the Episcopalian. Yeah, like get off our block. Yeah, no, some serious copyright issues, 100%. Yeah, it's Catholic IP. Oh, First off, all of Christianity has Catholic IP. We are the original church. All Everyone else in Christianity is stealing our IP. When, didn't you guys steal Orthodoxy? No. Nope. Nah, or Peter did Orthodoxy schism? They all, they off all of, Peter. On that rock. I mean, that's why you we guys. We are, are the church founded by Jesus. You're the most fun church. I'll say that. Easily. Yeah. Easily. It's better art, better structure, better, oh. like, fun up and well, down I'll dances. Give, I'll give the Orthodox credit. They have great buildings. Oh, it's long. You guys do long masses pretty hard, though. No, we don't. I don't. No, that's actually a myth. Catholic weddings are long. Oh, that's it. It's Catholic weddings, yeah. Because it's a full mass. Church is about Being 45 Yeah, to church is 45 to 50. Actually, you're right. Yeah, I mean, even midnight mass wasn't that long. No, that no, was no, enjoyable. Yeah, no, Catholic mass is not long. Midnight, we try to get through that shit. Dude, I had, I, uh, my buddy. It's Christmas, baby. Yeah. <laughs> my buddy in grade school, he is a full-on, like, black Methodist uh, preacher now. And we would, and he was Methodist the whole time. Like, and we, we, we and we were asking him, well, like, how long is your church? And he was like, oh, like three, four hours. Jesus. Yeah. All about him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But and he does it. He is like a full on, like, sweaty preacher, like, scream in the Lord. Now he's, he's great. He's actually a really smart guy and really, uh, uh, if I, he's so smart that I was like, if he believes in God, I can believe in God because he was such a smart guy. Like, so, and, like, reasoned and everything. Yeah, I can reason my way into religion pretty easily. It's called Pascal's Religion, man. Like, I mean, it's an easy one to do. I don't need this. What's right the now. benefit of me not actually believing? There is none. There, there is, is none. none. There's a lot more benefits you believing in it than not. That's the wager, right? But, but as a contradict, like, as I usually, as a contrarian, I, I'm going to say no. Or and you can use right, Dan's you dumb nothing. circle where it's just, Whatever someone says, do the it. Yeah. Dan's, <laughs> Dan's last words are going to be like, they're going to be, ha. No, Dan's last words are going to be like, I'm not dying. Ha. And yeah. I won't. <laughs> I'm not going to die. They're going to take me off the machine and I'll somehow live. You will actually out of probably spite. spite live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. A while. I do a lot of things out of spite. Spite's a strong, it's a very strong emotion. It yeah. Absolutely it is. is. I run better when I'm angry than when I'm happy. Oh, for sure. Like easily. further, it's not harder, even, much, yeah, much on, on all counts. The only thing, what the only thing anger actually makes you worse at, I feel like, in terms of athleticism or whatever, it's fighting hand eye accuracy, yeah, yeah, it makes you much better at endurance and strength, but act, yeah, accuracy, hand eye, it, it degrades. Mm -hmm. An angry D lineman's a lot better than an angry QB, yeah, oh, 100%. But UFC, MMA, um, a lot of guys that go into a fight angry, they get caught a lot because they just don't they're not disciplined and they don't stick to their like training and fundamentals right yeah they leave their fucking head open anything that requires discipline you can't be angry right if it doesn't require discipline you're better you're, you're fine mm -hmm. so like you want to run angry yeah you don't want to bat angry you don't right. want to play tennis angry right whatever the fuck whatever else fight right. angry i guess ironically um so when England split off from the Catholic Church, which was not that long before this, uh, a lot of Brits were pissed. They were, uh, there were a lot of secret Catholics in England. The Southworth family actually uh, split irrevocably over the Anglican Church's split from the Vatican. Jane Southworth married into the family. 
uh, she married John Southworth, who had been disinherited by his father for leaving Catholicism for the Anglican Church. Okay. Now, the split was so bitter that John's father, Sir John Southworth Sr., refused to even pass by their house if he could avoid it. He was convinced his son John's Anglican wife would murder him one day. He was literally quoted as saying he believed her to be a witch and evil woman. Jane had become a widow only a few months before the trial. Can't have a woman with money. No. Nor can you have a woman who you think is a witch uh, living while your beautiful Catholic son dies a Protestant piece of shit. Can't do it. This is all lost on me. I don't really care. It's not right. It's not right. So with the case in tatters, the judge ruled in favor of the accused, uh, saying, God has delivered you beyond expectation I pray, God, you may use this miracle and favor well, and take heed you do not fall hereafter, and so the court doth order you shall be delivered. Love that ruling. It's like, listen, you got lucky, ladies. Also, he's literally like, don't do this again. Do what again? They didn't do anything They just proved nothing happened. Yeah. Yeah. He did, they, like... It what proved- a sp- like what a smarmy thing to what do. A dick yeah. Whole fucking <laughs> like day. yeah. Oh, better hope you don't come here again for all Which, that by shit. By the way, you're I've dealt with judges like that before and cops like that before where it's like, "All right, well you didn't do anything this time, but you better not do anything again." It's like, like do, do anything like this. So continue like, do anything our, like this. Do- So continue what I'm doing. Right. Yeah. I was already being a good person. Yeah. yeah. The fuck were, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I got stopped in Gainesville one time cuz they're like, "Yeah, White guy in a polo committed a crime around here. And I'm like, so it's frat row. Um, <laughs> it's like the only time I've ever been profiled in my life. I was like, you know, that's everyone here, right? <laughs> like, that's, I don't know what you want White me to do. White guy in a polo in <laughs> Greek town. Yeah. yeah it's like, I, great. You're going to have a long night. <laughs> have a good one. Good Lord. Uh, speaking of that with cops, the same redneck guy who was like, y'all playing dress up. Uh, one, at one point he got pulled over. Actually, not pulled over. He was walking home drunk. And he was, uh, I think he was under 21 at the time. And a bike cop pulled him over as a pedestrian. And he was clearly shit-faced and under 21. And the cop was going to ride him up for MIP. And uh, <laughs> it's just a cricket. You're fine. Uh, don't. Come on, Jake. Sit down. You're fine. It's, it's just, a cricket on I'm getting it's it. a moth. It's a moth. I'm You're getting fine. it off my body. Fuck you. God. Wait, I'm supposed to let it chill? Yeah, just such a baby. Right. Look off. Let the let the let the demon chill. I didn't up. like scream. I just got up to get it off of me. When you jumped, I hopped up because I thought it was on me. Your face he recoiled. Your face was shrieking. This place is filled with pests. It's filled with vermin. Yeah, Literally, it's, there's it's an abandoned church. I know. I'm waiting for the day the rats fall on me out of the sky. Yeah, that'd be rad. I bet you scream. Plagues. I, if the rats fell on me, yeah, a I will pro- too. A professional would do their job. I am. Well, now. Yes. Uh, do, oh, what you made I'm sorry. Do? I created a distraction. You got distracted by, and I'm the non-professional. You yes. couldn't just keep rolling. Well, yeah. Yes. You made okay. us bring this up because of your actions. Sounds like you guys can't focus. I have ADHD. That's really insensitive of you. It's not even real. It's super real. I used to take medicine for it before I decided to. Stop. Oh, I used to do fun drugs for it before I decided to stop doing it. Uh, they're fun when you do it every once in a while. Taking it every day kind of sucks, actually. Oh, doing speed every day isn't fun. No, oh, meth crash. Get out of there. As get out si- of here. As a 16, 15 year old, <laughs> yeah. it's not the best. Yeah, you don't even know it's supposed to be fun yet. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. not. Yeah, you're yeah. Not when you're 15, it's not fun. a good time. You have plenty of energy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, they were like, "Don't do this again." They're like, "We didn't do anything." <laughs> God damn it. Uh, so the three were pretty obviously innocent, exonerated. Uh, so why have a trial at all? Well, Potts dedicated his book uh, to his surrogate and English hero, Thomas Nivett, and Nivett's wife, Elizabeth, which, again, Nivett stopped Guy Fox. Guy Fox was doing the gunpowder plot because he was a Catholic. At the time of the trials, Lancashire was seen as a pretty lawless region uh, and a place where Catholicism was still practiced regularly, though in secret, but the law... The enforcement of any law there was shitty, so Catholics were able to run wild a little bit. Always have. Always will. Got our Who wizard. runs the world? Catholic. <laughs> kind of. Not not inaccurate. Uh, there's a Catholic president, Catholic speaker of the house. I think the most common religion on the Supreme Court is Catholic. 
Uh, and that's a cross party, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but Jews are doing it all, huh? <laughs> We're yeah. just trying to get some bad. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Joe Lieberman really just cracking the whip out here. Fuck you guys. Hey, there goes another moth or cricket or something. It's oh. starting to rain in here. Bugs. Whatever. That'd be dope if the roof, coll- roof collapsed. See I'd, what happens? I'd be honestly into it. Trying to talk poorly about our, our church. And- yeah. yeah, and your dumbass God keeps sending pests. Well, Bugs. Francis hears you, yeah. Smite me. The rats fall. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> That'd be fucking amazing. That would be pretty awesome. That would finally get us some good TikTok clips for I sure. I know, I know. Just but people might me. Actually, But then people would think it's a, like a setup rat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, it's real. And then I have what to go on there and be like, listen, it really wasn't. Yeah. I have rabies. I have rabies <laughs> now. You can see the bite. Like, they'll take chunks out of you. They'll uh, fucking do it. Right on cue. <laughs> Here they come. So... Uh, everyone from Judge Bromley to the prosecutors were looking to impress King James by having a successful trial, one dealing with witches and or Catholics. And the entire thing may have been a setup uh, turn, that they could turn into an easy win, a show trial, if you will, to show how not lawless Lancashire actually was. or a, And or that these people cleaned up Lancashire of both witches and, as Thomas Potts writes, plotting popists. There are really good slurs for Catholics. Popist? Popists and papists that don't get used enough anymore. Mm. I prefer... It's a mouthful. I prefer pedophile. Whoa. That's just our leaders. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's just the people that send all the orders and down. they only do it to us. Yeah, that's true. It is very confined to your own sect. Mind your business. <laughs> yeah. It's not like they're going out to like a subway and right. slinging sandwiches and touching kids. Right. Yeah. They're not doing that at all. Not buying tickets to Thailand or some shit. Oh, you don't think there's been a mission trip to Thailand? Yeah, it's probably. Yeah. 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 It's a pyramid scheme. A pedophilia. All businesses are pyramid schemes. You just don't want to be at the end. You won't be at the bottom. You don't work your way up. Right. Pretty much. Um, so Potts did write of the trial's conclusion. The county of Lancashire may uh, now may be lawfully uh, said to abound as much in witches uh, of diverse kinds as seminaries, Jesuits, and papists. So essentially it was like, yeah, we're, we're free of Catholics now. The Southworth family had been under government surveillance for years prior to the trial. So Sir John Southworth had been arrested multiple times uh, for being a recusant, as they called practicing, practicing Catholics in uh, England, and practicing Catholicism. So when a wife of a converted Anglican and hated uh, by a known Catholic was accused of being a witch and catching some weird accusations, Bromley and others might have seen this as a perfect way to expose Catholics, not witches, in their county. Cool. Cool. You got a moth problem over there? A little bit. It's a cricket, for sure. No, it's There's not. a cricket over here. The moth's moths coming towards you. It was a moth. Yeah. Crickets don't fly. What do you want from me? A better insect identification. Okay. It's a cricket. It's the most harmless. It doesn't feel like it's, it's ambiance. Yeah, right. I'm supposed to just be a fucking statue when it lands on me. Yes. Okay. Be a stoic. Fuck you. It honestly, just proving you're a witch. Wouldn't it be like my familiar or something? Wouldn't that be like, come to me, Cricket. Oh, yeah, well, if, it, if you liked it, it would be. So I have to be just completely neutral on Cricket. And then you're a witch, and then we'll kill you for that. Neutrality? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. pretty much. So I'm a witch. So anyway, the, ju- the court was like, you know, this seems like a Catholic situation. Both Potts, uh, obviously, and Judge Bromley ended up getting their promotions. Some historians actually think Judge Bromley worked closely with Potts in the writing of the book. Yeah. It's good to see them get wins. I know, right? Because Bromley got promoted, the promotion so, yeah. he wanted. It was a happy and end Pot- of the story. Potts got a huge promotion. And the women don't die. And the women don't die. Actually, this is a great story. Well, yeah. I mean, they thought they were going to die. But they didn't. Well, Justice yes. prevailed. Sometimes you got to scare them straight. But they did. Yeah. Yeah. All's well that ends well. All, that's literally what I wrote. Sorry to... Finn. Finn. So, what did you guys learn today? Um, cross-examination is good. <laughs> Yeah. Created in 1612. <laughs> Started 1612. Hey, ask her anything about yeah. this is is a pretty There's good defense. So many things she said that we can prove aren't true. If you just ask her these following questions. And teenage girls are the most powerful people on the planet. 
That's more of a reinforcement of what we already knew. Yeah. Yep. Today's Hitler. Teenage Who girls. <laughs> um, the bugs in this studio going at Jake. I don't actually. I, I disagree. I like them. Then you're Hitler. Maybe I am. Actually, before you came in, Jake, we just released a bunch of bugs in the <laughs> studio. Yeah. It's bug day. Well, it's spooky season. <laughs> yeah. Nothing's bugs are spooky. Yep. Right, right on, on cue. cue. <laughs> there it is. Uh, next week, we're bringing in bats. <laughs> Ew. Gross. Rabies only. Actually, bats, I'm cool with bats because they eat mosquitoes, and I get torn up mm-hmm. by those fuckers. I hate bugs, personally. I'm going under the bridge. I'm just going to start capturing them. There's a, yeah, that's a good place to get them. I, uh, Rob should know why I hate bugs. When I first moved out here, I got bit by a spider that cost me $2,700 to have the infected fucking egg-laid wound removed from my arm. I don't remember that, actually. You don't remember me you having the giant baseball-sized wound on my arm? I have no memory of that. No. You weren't around I can't a lot. remember it. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I had a giant spider bite that swelled to the size of about a softball. I had to get it lanced at an emergency room. Dios mio. Yeah, and I thought my insurance covered it. It's no, not. No, Why sure. would I do that? Sure. Yeah, no, it was, I got a call from an angry man in Bangladesh that told me I owed $2,700 yeah. to a company. What's cool about medical debt is you can just pay those fuckers off at, like, $5 a month. Yeah, doesn't matter. I have yeah. a funny story about a spider bite that would get me canceled. But it's all off air. I feel like this uh, episode's going long, so yeah, I think we gotta, we gotta work on that Patreon episode. I think we do. Yeah. Software history. I'll tell that. I'll tell that episode. I'll tell Patreon dot com slash software history. Yeah. Software history dot com for merch. Uh, please leave a review. Please and thank you. Uh, five stars if you can. Spotify, Apple, wherever you find podcasts. Appreciate you guys listening thank every you. week. For mean, uh, Dan Rajester and Jake Ullman. you mean so much to us. And you just got you just got soft served.